Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Valeria, and this is the Off-Road Trench. In this video, I will define a complete list of priority works required in order to prepare the site at least minimally for planning and design, for safe being and location, and for further construction. So, I have already carried out a survey of the site in order to understand its primary state. Now you can see better what is what. I made attempts to explore it fully, but it is impossible to get to some places, not to mention trying to film on camera what is inside these forests. Now it is necessary to draw up a complete list of works to be done, a list of tools, and even a list of special construction equipment which is ideally needed for this implementation. What should be the result and what is needed for this? It is necessary to prepare the site so that in the future it will be possible to predict what will be on it. It is necessary to mow the grass. It will be about 300 square meters. It is necessary to mow at least every two weeks before the onset of cold weather. For initial work, a hand size or a machete is enough here. But for full-fledged work, I need a powerful brush cutter that will cope with thickets and be able to work without interruption for eight hours and not overheat or fail. It is necessary to cut down the entire forest to clear the entire territory of trees. There will be around 150 square meters. At the same time, it is necessary to preserve valuable trees, which will become the basis of the garden in the future. For small trees, an axe and a saw will do, but for large trees, a professional chain saw and protective gear are needed. Moreover, in the depths of the forest there are trees that I didn't get to, and I think their trunks are thicker than me, that is about 1 meter in girth or more. It is necessary to find and secure or eliminate dangerous places. For example, a well, pits, hazardous debris, decrepit trees, old foundations, and so on. The most important things that are needed for this is great accuracy, attentiveness, and observation. A thermal imager will be also useful, as it will determine the colder and warmer areas of ground and forest. In the future, I need to plan what to do with these dangerous areas. It is necessary to clean the area from garbage, as it is definitely in the forest. For example, household garbage from those who once lived here, plastic, bottles, nails, and so on. This requires strong garbage bags, gloves, and great care. It is necessary to find and clean the well. In order to descend into the well safely, I need climbing equipment or equipment for industrial work at height. It includes a large list of equipment including climbing harnesses, ropes, safety ropes, carabiners, special clamps, and so on. I also need a device to measure the composition of the air, as poisonous or explosive gases can accumulate in the well. I talked about observing safety precautions when performing work in the video number 8. To clean the well itself, I need a large amount of water, special brushes, clean for cleaning a drainage pump to drain the well before cleaning. It is necessary to determine the boundaries of the site. To do this, first I need to cut through them. Also, I need to measure the distance between the corner of the site for an accurate layout. Even though I have documentation that lists the dimensions of the plot, it's best to double-check for yourself. To do this, I need to use a tape measure and, better of course, a laser rangefinder. Ropes and something like pillars are also needed. I need to measure the height difference. Although now this is not a primary step, it is very important, because in the future I need to understand the very level of the site the level of construction of buildings, the amount of land for backfilling to level the site. And it can turn out to be a lot of money, since all the work requires special construction equipment and is very expensive. But at the primary stage, just a level is needed for future drawing in design programs. It is necessary to carry out a of trees. 
And if I can cut down small trees on my own, then with large trees it is necessary to work in several stages. First, they need to be cut down. I thought about this earlier. Then they need to be thrown and dragged to a safe distance so that the territory of the range becomes clearer. In a good right case, thorn trees must be folded in a certain order that is necessary for me, so that order and accuracy are always maintained on the site. In addition, in this case, the trees will be folded compactly, take up much less space and can later be used for different aims. For thawing, I need a chain thaw, as I said earlier. But for grinding, you cannot do without special equipment, which I need to look for and order for work separately. After that, it is necessary to level the level. This requires special construction equipment and soil. I will tell in one of the videos how the procedure for uprooting and leveling should be carried out correctly. If you want to improve the ground and preserve the resources of the planet, then it is not enough just to uproot the trees. There are steps to follow. And also, I would like to point out that leveling the ground level and raising the ground level to the required height are two different things. So, these are approximate work that are necessary for minimal preparation for construction. In addition, we must remember that any tool requires periodic maintenance and consumables, and a gathering tool consumes a lot of fuel and oil, so these costs must be included in financial items. Often, long-term costs will be more expensive than one-time costs when buying a tool, but this is necessary both for long-term operation of the tool and for your safety and the safety of those around you. Of course, you might be able to use the tool, check its safety every time before you start it, keep people who do not know how to handle the tool from near it, do not work with the tool near other people and dangerous places and objects, do not leave the tool unattended, and, in general, follow the rules that are written in the manual. Of course, the most important thing in all this is to have an adequate standard of living in order to be able to continue work in a quality, efficient, permanent and long-term manner. And the most important thing is to observe safety, since a tired and distracted person carries risks for himself and for others. It is necessary to sleep well, observe hygiene, eat fully balanced meals, rest from physical work to avoid injury. I talked about the importance of this in videos number 3 and number 4. Since my living conditions have changed a lot, not only my habits have changed, but also my diet. If you want to see in more detail how I live and how my diet has changed in non-standard living conditions, please let me know in the comments, and I will make a separate video about this for you. Dear friends, I will be grateful to you if you subscribe on my channel, like and share my videos with your friends. It will really help me to promote my project. In addition, all these works require not only great physical efforts, but also great finances. And currently I'm trying to accumulate finances in order to buy a mini house, in order to survive in winter and to continue the development of the project in general. So I will be grateful for your donations. In addition, I have Patreon, and for a long-term subscription I will plant a tree and name it after you. You can also send finances for a tree in the Monero cryptocurrency, and I have a separate video about it. And even if you watch my videos a long time after its release, I still will be grateful for your support. Also, there are many other ways to help to restore nature on your own with your personal efforts. I talked about the importance of donations for the creators of high-quality content in one of my previous videos. And I consider my content to be high-quality, as it brings people benefits, knowledge and perhaps creates interest in the world around us. And I hope it can inspire other people to take active actions. It was Valeria, the Offroad Trench. Wish you all the best and see you soon.